Jen here at Jen Line and Crafts. Today I'm making this beautiful dragonfly birthday card. I've already posted this on uh, my website uh, with all the uh, products used and the dimensions. But today I'm going to change the colour. Uh, this one's made in soft sky but I'm going to uh, use Calypso Coral. So let me show you how to make it. The uh, products we need are uh, card base and I've already scored it and just need to burnish it. And then for the top I've got um, a mat to layer on the top and this lovely uh, DSP designer paper and it's from the delightful Daisy uh, papers. Inside you'll need a card insert and that's in vanilla as well and a strip for down the side matching the, uh, the front uh, card layer then I've cut an oval in Calypso Coral and a scalloped oval in Vanilla and I've also cut out two butterflies. I've done this already to save a bit of time and I've, um, I've used the wink of Stella on the leaves, not leaves, the wings I don't know whether you can see that. And I put some pearls down his body. And that's the smaller one. Yeah, you can see it now. Whoops. Okay. So first of all, what I'm going to do is uh, um, adhere the design a paper to the top of the card and I'm going to use some Tombow I think it's coming to an end this one and I'm just going to lay that on the top of the, this card the card base even an even border all the way around. There we go. We'll just turn it over to press it down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is place the the dragonflies. And I'm going to put one just there and I think one about there roughly something like that so I'll glue these down now <coughs> excuse me don't want to get out of shot for you So I'll just put some glue on this, not a lot, just a bit on his body, on the wings. Just dot some all over. I think that's it. I'm going to place that just here. Like that. And then I'm going to do the same with the uh, smaller dragonfly. Fly. 
again just dot it down his body and his tail little dots all over his wings there we go and I'm going to place that one roughly think about there lovely and I'll just turn that over to flatten it a bit there pretty what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stamp the vanilla oval the scalloped oval and I'm using um, it's uh, from the stamp set birthday blossoms and it's have a beautiful birthday there we go so I'll just get my ink out and the stamp make sure it's the right way up let's hope I can do it the first time mm -hmm. there we go give it a nice firm press let the ink adhere to the uh, cardstock and there we go yeah I'm happy with that and now I'm going to put some Tombow on the back lay that on the top and a nice even border all the way around There we go. Now you can either pop this just there flat to the card or raise it on some uh, foam pads. And I've got some little pads here and I'm going to put one on each edge and one in the middle. And just peel the the backing off <clears throat> and I'm going to place that just there making sure it's straight lovely now inside the card I'm going to get the v vanilla cardstock, the insert. And I'm going to layer that on here, leaving a nice even border all the way around. And then the strip here I'm going to place down there but not quite up to the fold and then the card will close properly. So I'll turn it this way. I'm just going to place that there, bring it up a bit can you see? There we go. 
press that down and then just cut off the excess One, two. Right, just one more thing to do now. Um, I've got a piece of uh, the designer paper and inside here I'm just going to put a little flower in the corner. And um, the flower shape uh, is from the flower shop stamp set which I've got and I've got the coordinating punch and it's going to cut a little flower out like that so we'll get this and pop it in a nice little spot so it looks pretty bit of tombow on the back Pop this in the corner, evenly spaced. There we go, and then for the centre, I've got a little pearl, like what I put on the front. And I like to put a bit of uh, Tombow on the back just to make sure that it sticks. There we go. And just place that in the centre. That looks pretty. So there it is. Beautiful card made in Calypso Coral. I've not put a sentiment in in uh, on the insert. Um, you can leave it blank or put a nice little sentiment or write your own. And I'll bring the other card in. And that's the one I made earlier which I've posted on my website. Nice little stamp there to match the cord the flower in the coordinating paper. I put pearls down all the body on the dragonflies this time and I just put, oh I've got one fell off wherever that's gone not to worry I'll find that and there you go so let me know which you like best leave me a comment and I'll put a link to my website down below and if you've liked my tutorial please give it a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe and I thank you for watching today and I'll see you next time. Bye!